Hello, my name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup Yarn Art, a soft-spoken video journal where I play with yarn and share my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment to let me know. The pattern I'm working on is still the sorrel sweater from Woolly Pine. I ran out of the purple sooner than I expected. But I have plenty of the gray, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, if you follow me on social media or you subscribe to this channel, you may have seen that I posted a video earlier today and then got of it. That is because I accidentally recorded the entire 15 minute video with my microphone muted. And that's actually what I would like to talk about today. Making mistakes. Because goodness knows nobody is perfect especially not me. So, first I'll talk about that video for a little bit. Um, I recorded it, didn't notice anything amiss, didn't notice any problems, uploaded it, shared it on my various social media, as I do, and what about my day? And then I got a message um, from the host of a regular knitting meetup that I like to go to, letting me know that it was going on, and I realized I had completely forgotten about the meetup. So I walked in really quickly. And I realized no one could hear me talking. And I checked. My mic wasn't muted on the video chat. And that's when I noticed my microphone itself was muted. And I realized it had been muted the whole time I recorded my video and that what I had posted was just 15 minutes of silence over footage of knitting. And I'm, I'm trying to laugh about it, but at the moment I am slightly mortified. <laughs> By the whole thing. Um, hopefully you'll find it amusing. I encourage you to, in fact, because if it had happened to not me, I would find it objectively hilarious. So I strongly encourage you to laugh at my misfortune. Um, and mistakes aren't limited to just knitting, you know? I'm sorry, aren't limited to just technology. <laughs> that was a mistake, and that was with language. But, you know, so we also make mistakes with our knitting sometimes, and it's not... It's never gonna be the end of the world. And it's up to you whether or not to go back and fix it. With my flax sweater that I wound up tie-dyeing, I got to the end of the increases and I counted out my stitches and I realized I was missing an increase on the raglan lines. And 
thought about it, I went and I actually found where the missing increase was supposed to be. And I decided not to rip back and fix it. I decided to just add another increase there at the end and let it go. You know, a fellow knitter could scrutinize the rack when the line's up close and find the mistake, and if I pointed it out to someone, they'd be able to see it, but the scrutiny required is so close that for me, it is really not worth, it was really not worth going back to fix it. So, in the raglan lines of my flax sweater, there lives a mistake. Oh well. There are lots of stories that I've seen from lots of different cultures about how when you are making some kind of fabric, you know, some say weaving, some say knitting, I've seen lots of different ways. That's a mistake right there that I just did. Mm -hmm. I'm sniffling because I have to sneeze and I'm holding it in. Um, anyway, lots of stories from different cultures about how when you're making fabric, you get knitted, woven, whatever, you have to work a mistake. And some cultures say that it's because no mere human can be perfect. Others say that if you don't work a mistake in, the fabric will be able to trap souls in it. So, if I make a mistake in my knitting, it's because I don't want the fabric to trap souls. And that's what I'm going to go with. Oh, excuse me. I really hope I don't sneeze because I have tried to record this video I think about seven times now including the two tries when my mic was muted and if I sneeze I'm going to have to start again again It's getting late, and I'd really rather not. You know, the first two times, well, the first, very first time, I messed up and decided to start again, not realizing that my mic was muted. Second time, I got all the way through, even posted it, but my mic was muted. There is a bathroom just on the other side of that wall that way, and it is distinctly audible when the toilet is flushed. I know this from experience, and 
there have been multiple instances tonight of people going to the bathroom while I'm trying to record. That is not their fault. I'm not going to tell anyone not to use the bathroom just because I'm trying to make a video. It was just bad timing on my part. I messed up a few takes. You know, just a comedy of errors trying to make a video today. And I would really not like to add I sneezed in the middle of a take to that list of errors. Because that would just be the worst. Excuse me. So. I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I've worked any mistakes that have been left in the fabric on my sorrel so far. Um, and if I do, I will have to decide whether or not to go back to them and fix them, or just leave them be. But, as you've seen in this video, I have not been quite perfect. And I happily admit that. I don't edit these videos. I leave in all the jumbled words and messed up stitches. And lost trains of thought and All of that. Because what's a journal without the scratched out phrases and misspellings? You know? And at this point, it is looking like this is going to be a shorter video than usual, but I'm okay with that, as long as it actually has sound this time, and I actually get all the way through a take without sneezing, or a toilet flushing, or whatever misadventure crops up next. <laughs> Maybe someday I will edit together a supercut of all the takes I decided not to use. All the times I've sworn at my camera or microphone or, you know, gotten a little mad about a take not working out. Or even just flubbed so bad I decided to start over. But for now, at the end of this round, I think I will leave you. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.